Well, overall, I've been living up here for um, well over 30 years now. Um, I was brought up in Devon. I came over here because, because of climbing, basically. That's what I was into at the time, so it was finding an excuse to come and live here. Uh, at the time, I came over to do uh, teacher training, but soon discovered that um, teaching was not going to be for me. I think I was rather scared of kids, really, to be honest. Um, I've subsequently found out that kids are nothing to be scared of after having my own son. When Patrick left, it, it was a very uh, traumatic time. I mean, the, we talk about empty nest syndrome. That was it was huge because um, uh, it had just been Patrick and I for the last 18 years. So this was a huge hole in my life. And um, even though I enjoyed my work, there just comes a time when you know that it's time to move on and I needed a, a, a new challenge and I was sort of searching around for something that I could do. I knew it had to be something practical and then it suddenly dawned on me, well yes, you know all those years ago when I was so keen on cheese making and it was the one and only thing I really wanted to do, well here, here was my chance. So there was a bit of a brick wall when I found I couldn't get any work experience but once I decided that the best way of um, getting around that was, was to go um, over to France, then that became quite exciting and, uh, you know, um, uh, quite a challenge. Yeah, thinking back to France, and one of, the, uh, well, one of the best areas that I worked in, it had this little window where, um, where the sun streamed in, and there was um, um, a vine that was growing up outside and uh, the, the vine leaves framed the, um, um, the window. As the um, cheese in the mould drains through the mould and then it, the, um, uh, the whey um, seeps out onto the curd table and the curd table is you know, generally on a bit of a slant and all the whey drains to one end of the table and then there's a nice hole and it dribbles through the hole and into a bucket underneath. Gradually, as, as the bucket fills up, you know, the sound of the drips changes and um, and particularly if you've got two curd tables going at once, you've got two of these going on and maybe one's at a slightly different pitch than the other. And um, it was great. It was like um, having a couple of sort of bagpipe drones in the back, then with a sort of rhythmic bit of the drips falling in, you could, um, you know, alter the tune according to what the pitch of the buckets were. And as long as nobody else was there in the dairy, then uh, you could you could sing away and it, yeah, it'd be great. I used to love those times. Well, at the moment, what I find quite difficult is that, um, because I don't yet have my own dairy and I'm operating in various different locations and I all, always seem to be collecting milk from one place, travelling to another, finding I've left something behind and um, having to make do with something and then it takes longer than it should and I'm late for the next thing so I've got to make it less stressful. Well we're um, on the outskirts of Bethesda here and we're, we're at the old um, Catholic church which is currently Arwerth, um, for sale and uh, it just might be the location for my new dairy. It's all, I'm, I'm just so excited about having somewhere so close to home. Well, coming back to Wales was, you know, was really important for me. I mean, partly just because I've lived here for most of my life and partly because it's, you know, such a beautiful place to come back to and this is where, you know, so many of my friends are too. Well, for, um, for the moment, I'm based here at uh, Pardon More Lucky. We used to have a community shop, but that closed down about five years ago. So when this was opened, it's the only facility that we have for coffee, meeting friends, buying local food, and it should be a lot bigger, and I hope it will go a lot bigger. Um, until we met Carrie about two or three years ago, I'd never tried uh, sheep's cheese. We started getting interested in what she was doing and it's very unique and it started to win awards and the flavour is absolutely fantastic. Now that makes me feel, yeah, great, you know, I'm, I'm delighted to be 
doing something that, uh, uh, you know, maybe in some small way helps, helps the area here. Well, I'm Carrie and I'm a cheesemaker. Wonderful. <laughs>